we were given two dice to roll. One is black with six sides. The other is white with four sides. So a four-sided die is kind of a pyramid-looking thing. It has exactly four sides. So for a given roll, it would be a pyramid with a triangular base. For a given roll, what is the probability that the dice add up to 10? If it helps, you might may select the matching outcomes below. Your selections aren't checked with your answer. So this might look a little bit strange at first. You're like, what is this triangle? This triangle is the face of the, of the four-sided die that is, face, that is facing you. So this is the roll of the four-sided die. And so this is a roll of one and one. So those clearly are not adding up to 10. So let's think about all the ones that add up to 10. So this adds up to two. This adds up to three. This adds up to four. This adds up to five. Let's see what actually adds up to 10. So if we go all the way, so clearly if we get a four and a six, that's going to add up to 10. And are there any other possibilities that add up to 10? Well, the highest possible roll I can get on the four-sided die is a four. So that's the, my best scenario out of, that's the highest possible roll. And even if I get that, I still need the highest possible roll on the six-sided die. So this is the only scenario that adds up to 10. You could look at any of these other ones, they'll add up to something less than 10. So there's one possibility that satisfies our constraints, the, dies add, the dice add up to 10. And how many total equally likely possibilities were there? Let's see, this grid shows all the equally likely possibilities. This is 1, 2, 3, 4 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There are 24 equally likely possibilities, and that comes from you have six, you have six possibilities from the six-sided die times four possibilities from the four-sided die gives you 24 equally likely possibilities. Only one matches or only one satisfies the constraints, the constraint that the dice add up to 10. Let's do a few more of these. So you're given two six-sided dice to roll. For a given roll, what is the probability that the dice add to six? So here we have the tops of both of my dice. And now what are all the scenarios where the dice add up to six? So I have to get, in order to add up, well, let's think about this. If I have a one and a five, that's going to add up to six. In this entire column, that's the only way that I add up to six. Right over here, Let's see, if I have a two on the black die, then I'm gonna need a four on the white die to add up to six. If I have a three on the black die, I'm gonna need a three on the white die to add up to six. If I have a four on the black die, I'm gonna need a two on the white die. If I have a five on the black die, I'm gonna need a one on the white die. And then if I have a six on the black die, it's actually impossible that the sum will be exactly six. So there's no zero on the white die. So none of these meet the constraint. So here I have one, two, three, four, five possibilities where my dice add up to six. So I have five possibilities out of a total of 36 equally likely ones. This is a six by six grid, and it comes from six possibilities for one die times six possibilities for the other die. So five possibilities satisfy my constraint out of a total of 36. Let's do one more. This is actually a lot of fun. You're given two six-sided right, roll. You are given two six-sided dice to roll. For a given roll, what is the probability at least one die is a six? At least one die is a six. So let's see. So we just have to look for all of the all of the situations where at least one of the dice is a six. So that one, that one. Every time I see a six, I should just click on that. That one, that one, and then obviously all of these scenarios right over here. So these are all of the scenarios where at least one of the dice is a six. Here, of course, is where both of the dice are a six. So how many scenarios are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. So there are 11 possibilities out of a total of 36 equally likely ones. Remember, six times six. There's 36 equally likely outcomes. So let's check our answer. And we got it right.